And this is Carson. He's probably the best drummer I've ever played with in my entire life. Oh shit. Oh man. Aw. Uh, or maybe ever. Probably. This is Jacob. Um, he's got more bucket hats than, than anybody I know. Uh, the, the other night, uh, we went down a hole of cigarette where we gave views of a dude just smoking cigs in his car, just talking about the flavor, and it was really, we spent like 30 minutes on that. Which ones did he like best? Uh, the new, in Hooport, in, in, in Hinthal. Classic. So gross. I think I have one. No, I can't think of any right now. I'm, I'm, scared, I'm scared of shit. I'm honestly kind of afraid of birds, like big birds. Big flapping wings do kind of scare me. Ostriches oh, intimidate me. I have a Peacocks. phobia of hair that's not on someone's head. Like just like balled up hair in the shower. It's fucking disgusting. Yeah. Like if you threw hair on me, freak out. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. No comment. I like the breakfast, but other than that, I like I'm I like good. how creative y'all have gotten with French fries. Chips, man. Chips. Yeah, we had an English breakfast a couple times, I think. But that was my favorite Where part. Where was that spot we stopped at in Leeds? Uh, Greasy Pig? Something like that. Or, or, or something pig, yeah. Yeah. That shit was good. I don't like the uh, the black, uh, what's that? Yeah, I don't want that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't a fan either. It was disgusting. Damn. Wow. Uh, it was. Who'd you, who'd you get that one from? <laughs> Where'd you get that? Uh, it's this venue um, that's out, it's out in the suburbs. It's not open anymore, but uh, I went to my, one of my first shows there. It was like the hub for like hardcore and metalcore and just everything that a teenager likes, that's where you went. If you could mosh to it, that's where the show was yeah. gonna be. I was there like every every Saturday, at least, you know. Whoa, they were uh, probably the most important Houston hardcore band of the last ever maybe, but definitely of the last decade. Yeah, they just inspired a whole scene here to just like start making music and d d DIY stuff. Uh, it was like a, a really good time. Um, they're still kind of my fav fav favorite Texas hardcore bands. Also, I feel like what was sick about Back to Back is like, there was like a really prosperous era of Houston hardcore, like 2015 to 17, that I feel like kind of happened because they were able to like unite what was previously like two distinct kind of scenes within yeah. Houston. Uh, wow. Honestly, <laughs> not cre- uh, I did like that band a lot for a while, but they're not like a fundamental, regrettable emo band from that time, like, uh, like, who's an equally cringy band that I like more? Fall of Troy. The Fall of Troy, like I still ride for that band. Dude, I'll say- We love Armor for Sleep. I'm willing to put that in the interview. You know, They're when I was sick. in middle school, I was like really about Silverstein. Yeah, like, that was like that more. was like my shit. It was pretty sick. I I filmed every song and sang really loud, and I didn't realize that that I was singing louder than than the shot I did. So everyone made fun of me, <laughs> but uh, I think I cried, bro. It chapter two. Oh, um, what's that shit? Slender Man. We watched that the other day. Oh, that yeah. <laughs> the Slender Man off. movie. I, I turned it off. That was really bad. Um, this hat. I bought a cab. A lot of food. I just buy fast food all the time now because that's all there is to do. Whataburger, well, for yeah. sure. That's like the de facto regional fast food chain. Number one. Uh, what else is from around here that Cabo Bob's is, is like a super good burrito spot? I, I think that's Texas only, right? That's only Austin. Chico's Tacos in El Paso? Hell <laughs> no, sir. No comment. But no, we didn't. Nah. Cora was already in and out of the band, kind of. You know what I mean? Like, we had two tours where he played bass. 
and then uh, oh, we can get convinced him to come to Texas, and now he's just full time. No, but we've worked on music together, and we'll probably do that in the future too. I don't know if he'll rap on a song, but I don't know if we're there yet. But I think yeah. I think Cora and Jacob on on Lil Aaron tracks is more likely than Lil Aaron on Narrowhead tracks, for sure. Not Limp Biscuit. The Jay Z Lincoln Park album. Oh yeah, that's good. I feel like I would be down, but it, in my mind, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, not, not. I, I don't even think this is like hot take conspiracy theory shit at this point. Like, inevitably, technology is going to get so advanced to the point where it's going to outthink us and outgrow us and take over. Like, that's. I mean, like, it's a, it's a slippery slope, and we're already well down it. Also, on this note, Westworld season one, amazing. Westworld season two, okay. Westworld season three, not very good. <laughs> Sound off in the comments below. Ryan knew my dad. And they played in a band together for like, what, you played like two shows or something? So my dad and uncle were in a band called The Tie That Binds and uh... Who did they, they like Sam I Am and like a Houston Seaweed, emo scene, like, you know? Yeah, but they were like a 90s band that sounded like that from Houston. And they're awesome. I've always known Ragain's name, you know, like I've heard it around. And then we finally met, and then he showed me this picture of him playing bass in my dad's band for like a show or two. He's wearing a snap case shirt. <laughs> do, I, do I gotta say it? <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs>